So I had a great interview in uh, Central Park uh, with uh, uh, Paul Carter Harrison, and I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it up. Just like I'm cutting up, it's going to be like in three parts, but four parts. And I'll post it whenever I can get it. <laughs> I'm at this ancient computer here, so it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult for me to really post real quick. Uh, so I have to do, do some adjustments. In fact, I have gone to the public library. I might go there in the morning. And, uh, and and try to you know do stuff there, but it, it takes too long to, to download or whatever have you. Then I had this idea of going over to the National Black Theater and I uh, go to their office and ask them, you know, uh, can I you know do this transfer? But uh, you know the guy there had a Windows Max or whatever have you, and somehow it's not compatible or whatever it is. Anyway, but while I was waiting for the thing to download, for him to do his thing, try to download it, he's going to send me a, a, a Dropbox later on maybe. Anyway. Um, I got on my uh, my device, my new device, my uh, OnePlus 3 device, and um, you know because I, I do a Google Plus, so sometimes I watch. So there was a posting. Uh, Democracy Now had a great program on this morning. A shout out to Democracy Now. And um, Naomi Klein had said something on this panel. They had you know Juan Gonzalez was moderating the panel. On the Klein, some cat from the Nation, and uh, Rosario Dawson was on the panel. Anyway, but the Columbus Times said there would be no uh, Bernie movement without a uh, uh, fight for 15, uh, Keystone XL, or Black Lives Matter. Okay, that was the that, uh, that was the title of the post. And so, you know, down in the comments, and then of course I guess they go into the thing. Down in the comments, the first comment, this cat, uh, I'm not even going to say his name. Uh, he, he says, you know, oh, you know, f off, uh, all lives matter. Get off your high horse, right? Then he puts his whatever thing. And so I responded. I said, all lives don't get stolen, me kidnapped from their lands, exploited by their captors to build wealth. Jim Crow, culturally and economically, lynched to steal possessions and increase subjugation, incarcerated in a uh, neo-slave state, and generally despised. In short, all lives matter, but black lives matter more. Then I said, besides, as usual, black people create the initiative and others appropriate the situation. Okay, so now I posted already, but then there was a there was a young lady in the um, in the office that was waiting for in the uh, uh, National Black Theater office. And so I let her see it. And she looked over and she said, well, that's fine, but uh, the black lives matter is, she doesn't agree with the black lives matter more because the movement is about black lives matter. It's not, it's like all lives do matter and black lives matter. And I said, well, I see what you're saying. And uh, um, I said, well, maybe I should, because uh, it comes from all that stuff I was saying. So it, um, I said, I should say, because of these things, Black Lives Matter more. But that's all I said. I didn't. I don't like to you know, engage with young people I don't know because you know I don't want to discourage them or anything like that. But then I was thinking about this post. And I was going like, you know, no. Black lives matter more. Well, forget it. Black lives matter. All lives matter. Fine. But only black lives need to get some reparations. That's the key. You see? And so, you know, these movements can start or whatever, where they're going to have it, and everybody's going to do what they do, and they, they want to be kumbaya together, whatever. And that's fine with me. But my thing is if you went through the Middle Passage, whether you ended up in North America, Central America, uh, the Caribbean, or especially South America, you know, Brazil, reparations are due. So black lives matter, all lives may probably matter, but I'm saying, look, reparations is due. You stole, you know, kidnapped, stole, murdered, uh, uh, you know, most of the lynchings was, was, was done to like, like black uh, uh, shop owners, whatever, have it, to get their business. Now you got whole incarceration thing happening. And generally set upon now, of course, they go with all this thing about, you know, black people killing each other. But I'm not worried about that. That's not my issue. My thing is like, well, we'll fix all that stuff. Now, reparations I seek has nothing to do with money. These are other kinds of things. You know, you, you, they say, oh, free schooling, whatever it is. Hey, I'll, take, I'll deal with that, whatever. But, but we've got to deal with the reparations. Nobody wants to talk about that. But black people who went through the Middle Passage, I'm not talking about the people of, of the Barack Obama ilk. You know what I mean? These folks are due, all right? And until we get that thing straight, we're going to keep on doing what we do. That's it. That's a dispatch from me. Uh, T from the Patterson's take the chances bit. Letting you know what I only suspect.